Hello and welcome back to Passion Fruit Crafts, friends. Today I'm going to be exploring the versatile yet elegant art of iris folding. All you need is some colored paper. You can use any three or four colors. A vintage paper for the background. Since I'm going to be making a vintage bicycle iris folding glue and of course scissors. I have chosen these three colored papers and this vintage paper for the background. I have run this twice to my cutter. I don't need this part, I just need the outside part. I need to overturn this. Choose three colored papers and cut them into strips. Most people do iris folding with a background guide to guide them where to place their strips but I believe that is not necessary. What you need to do is make three guides for yourself mentally. It can be three, it can be four. I'll take a nice thick strip, fold it, start here and here and the last one I can start placing is maybe here. You need to use a nice fast sticking glue. Most people fold a complete strip into half that makes it quite thick. Now since my requirement is not such a long strip, I just cut it up. Second strip should come at an angle to the first one. Slight angle. Fold in half, not exactly half, fold one side. Glue from one end. Your patterns don't have to be perfect. They just have to be narrow at one end, broad at the other. You will notice that now they have started overlapping each other. Narrow at one, broad at the other. Intermittently, keep turning around and checking. Last, I will just put this pink bit to cover up the center. However, to be on the safer side with these, I will just tape it down to make sure none of the pieces come off. Yeah. 
I have decided to turn my iris folding project into a greeting card. So I cut it to the size of my pre-scored and folded black greeting card. I have cut out a few embellishments to layer it with. I take my doily a snowflake punched out Thank you for watching Passion Food Crafts. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.